wow. I mean, I had read the new season of Black Mirror was twisted, but I didn't know it was this twisted. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam, and welcome to my review for Yesterday. This movie was directed by Danny Boyle, the director of Slumdog Millionaire and 28 Days Later, and it stars Himish Patel and Lily James. It tells the story of Jack, played by Patel, who is a struggling musician, and by struggling I mean I think about he has four fans. But after a freak accident, he suddenly becomes the one man on the entire planet who knows who the Beatles are. You might have heard of them. And after trying to convince other people who the Beatles are and failing miserably, he basically pulls a Marty McFly from Back to the Future Part 2. He writes the songs himself, and he produces them himself. Have you ever walked out of a movie and your reaction was just, eh? That was my reaction to yesterday. I'll get more into why I thought this movie was just plain damn weird in just a second, but first let's talk about the positives. Himish Patel and Lily James, they're both great. With a special emphasis on Patel, I'm not sure if he's been in any other movies before this one, but I hope he gets more after this because the dude is really good. And Patel and James really had great chemistry together. There's a scene in a train station where it was heartbreaking, let's just say that. I also really dug the songs, but I mean, it's the Beatles, of course I'm going to dig it. It's like, if you don't like the Beatles, like, what are you doing? But I believe if I'm correct, Patel did the vocals himself, which if he did, you know, that's, that's awesome. Really, where this movie starts to venture into the bizarre territory is the world building, and I think that if I'm going to accurately describe how bonkers this premise is, I'm going to have to go into some slight spoilers. Nothing about the plot, just about the world that surrounds the plot. If you're not particularly interested in hearing this part, I'll put a time code in the upper third here, and you can skip to there, and that there will be my rating and my final thoughts. But for right now, let's talk about this crazy world. The premise that we learn at the very beginning of the movie, and even in the trailers, is that John is the one man who knows who the Beatles are. Okay, that's fine. The Beatles are not the only band that disappears in this movie. The band Oasis, you know, the Wonderwall guys, they never existed either. But it's not just restricted to bands. I mean, Coca-Cola doesn't exist in this world. Cigarettes don't exist in this world. I, I mean, literally, the those cigarettes, like, they don't exist. Like, anywhere, ever, they don't exist. If the Beatles never existed, did the British music scene just stop at... Wait. At... Hang on. At... At... Jimmy Young, and then just hopscotched over the 60s and the 70s until they got to, wait, to, 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 the Chemical Brothers? What about bands in America? Did Jimi Hendrix never become a thing? I mean, was Creedence Clearwater Revival never formed? I mean, was Neil Young not a thing? I mean... How far down this rabbit hole are we gonna go? And if Coca-Cola doesn't exist, does McDonald's or Burger King not exist? There's just so many questions. And that's kind of what the problem is with this movie. It's the question of, if this takes place in our world, then what happened to this? Took me out of the movie so many times that it really didn't get me invested. Am I looking into a work of fiction too much? Yeah, maybe. But at the same time, I'm, in, I'm watching a movie trying to get invested into the characters and the story, and every time I'm like, so wait, 
did Led Zeppelin form, it just takes me out of the movie entirely. However, this movie does have a lot of strengths in the acting department and the singing department, so I am going to give it a good rating. I didn't hate this movie, I just find this movie frustrating. There's a lot of questions that, unfortunately, were just either never broached or just never answered. There's even more stuff in the movie that I'm not even saying because I'm just going to tell you, you have to see it to believe it. Because I think my mind blew like three or four times in this movie. And maybe not in the best way possible. I don't think Yesterday is egregious. It's just frustrating. But that's all for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. If you'd like to subscribe, click the big red subscribe button below or the link in the sidebar here. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, all of my social media links will be in the description. My name is Ryan Cam, and I'll see you in the next one.